Hello Pisces, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and what do you need to know about the energies between you. As always, these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, and let's jump right in, Pisces. For Pisces, Spirit. What do we need to know, Spirit, about the connection between Pisces and the person that they are thinking about? Or connecting with at this time. Pisces, this reading is for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. And even though I've separated your energies or will be separating your energies, you can always flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Pisces, what's going on for Pisces? Okay, let's see what we get for you, Pisces. What's going on in your connection is the Eight of Swords, the world, okay? And the Knight of Wands. Interesting, I feel like this would be someone overcoming their fear, overcoming stuck energy to make a move. Um, and I feel like this is going to close a cycle, open a cycle, we'll see, with the world. On your end here, we have the chariot, cancer energy, and the sun. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And on your person's side, we have the ace of swords and the fool. Oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> what is going on? Ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's something crazy about this energy, Pisces. It's great energy, feels great. Um, I feel like this is a new start for you in love, a new beginning in love. It could be a new beginning um, that your person is initiating here with the ace of swords, almost like a communication a message, some sort of um, clarity that someone has that sparks something new here. I feel like you're moving forward into something that's very happy, very exciting with the sun. And it's all because someone has overcome this Eight of Swords. Okay, so let's get some energies here. What do we need to know for Pisces? What do we need to know about the connection between Pisces and this other person? What do we need to know? Enthusiastic, excited and eager. Yep. I need to know. That's a Knight of Wands energy if I've ever seen one. What else do you need to know for Pisces? What's going on here for Pisces? Closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. <clears throat> That's that Eight of Swords. If you notice, they're both um, blindfolded. The figure in this card is blindfolded and so is the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like fear has blocked someone from maybe going after what they want to go after or addressing something, <clears throat> taking action, et cetera, et cetera. It's by Stellar Guidance. What else do we need to know? This could also be interpreted as someone that's really eager for something to happen and the other person might be a bit hesitant, resistant. What do we need to know? about the connection between Pisces and this other person. need to know. Divine timing is at play, number 13. Bottom of the deck, make a change. So yeah, I feel like there's some sort of shift happening. Um, and it's all based off of this world energy, net of wands, the chariot. There's some sort of movement that someone's doing that I feel is, is sparking a change in a connection. Or this is new love that could be coming in um, with someone that you already know. For some reason, I want to get a romance angel. <clears throat> what else can you tell me for Pisces? And then we'll clarify these energies. What else can you tell me? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. 
Yeah, and I feel like someone's a bit resistant here. Bottom of the deck, we have forgiving and learning. Maybe there is something that you need to forgive someone else for. Maybe they need to forgive you, vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Forgiving and learning, moving on, possibly is needed here. So let's click some clarity. Let me get some more insight for Pisces. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Ah. Okay. All right, let's start with this Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Page of Wands, okay. Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Five of Cups. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? King of Swords. Okay, so when I see these energies initially, I just wanted to put one down for all of these just so I can get some insight. Um, I feel like someone wants to tell you something important. For some reason, this is someone taking the initiative to come forward. So they've been thinking about this. Um, I feel like this is someone that has regrets or is missing a person, thinking of a person, thinking of the past thinking perhaps of the mistakes they've made. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sign is not as important as the energies that show up. I feel like this is somebody that's really thinking about the past and what they want for their future. So I, I sense like they want to, they don't want to repeat the past because it didn't work out there. You know, it's just not, the past is not, the greatest memories back there let's do another round tell me about the eight of swords tell me about the eight of swords the chariot oh yeah the, yeah this is someone that that is um thinking about the coming forward i mean it's very clear cancer energy here with the chariot tell me about the world Why is the world here? Wow. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Doing things right. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that wants to do things right. Wants to... Okay, some of you... Um, I'm getting the message that someone is in a marriage they regret or a commitment they regret. Um, maybe that commitment came to an end. That's just for some of you. Others of you, I feel like this is somebody that something ended between you but now they're thinking about doing things right by you um doing things more in a traditional sense yeah they want to talk about this with you they go back and forth about this though i i, I get the sense that this is someone that's really fearful um or perhaps they're stuck like physically stuck or you know trapped in a situation that they regret but make no mistake, the chariot has shown up twice. The knight of wands is here. This is someone breaking free and moving quickly. Tell me about the knight of wands. Taurus energy with the higher font there. Tell me about the knight of wands. Why is the knight of wands here? Strength, Leo energy. Yeah, this is somebody that needs, they would need to be brave. Um, courage is needed i also get the sense that this is someone that it, it, this is a different approach maybe before in the past they weren't as um they weren't as active as they are being now or um maybe being bold is not really their usual way of doing things maybe it's not their personality um, but this is how they feel they have to be in order to achieve their goal um, 
The Knight of Wands is very motivated. They don't really think about things too much either, which is interesting to me because I feel like this is someone that typically um, does a lot of thinking before they act or they're, they're, they usually play it safe, something like that. I get the sense that being a Knight of Wands is not this person's way of typically handling things. So let's get some insight into how you are thinking, feeling about each other here. going on between Pisces and this other person. What do we need to know? Now Pisces, remember you can flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Pisces. What's the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection? I see forever with you. This is definitely upside down. I'm not giving up. I just wanted to look at it. Okay, so you see potential here, Pisces, with this person. I think them coming forward will make you very happy. <clears throat> Tell me about this person, Pisces is hot. What is their energy? in this connection. I'm not giving up. <laughs> okay, so I guess I wanted to come out and it's on your person side here. I'm ready to commit at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Grab a kipper. Let me get some more insight into the energies between Pisces and this person. Tell me about Pisces. <clears throat> Imprisonment, number 29. So this person could be stuck uh, in a situation or you already know about, you know, this Eight of Swords. Whether this Eight of Swords is someone that's scared, trapped, stuck, whatever the, this Eight of Swords represents for your particular person, <clears throat> you already know about it. This could also be you that's stuck. Tell me about the person Pisces is hat or we'll be dealing with. Pisces, let me know in the comments, is, do you already know this person's situation? Sudden wealth. So this is someone hoping for a lucky break, things turning around. Jackpot with sudden wealth, sudden opportunity. Someone being very lucky. So let's clarify because I get the sense that this isn't, whatever this is that's going on here, um, on your person's side with the fool, the ace of swords, on your side with the chariot of the sun, this has been a while in like a long time coming. It has been developing. Get some insight for this other person. Tell me about the chariot and the sun. about the chariot and the sun queen of swords six of wands queen of wands the moon pisces energy i think you just want to hear from this person i think you've been waiting for this person i'm speaking to a pisces who's been waiting for a specific person who pictures success with someone already there you are, Pisces, by the way, showing up to your own reading with the moon. I think the moon and the sun, complete opposites. I feel like you've doubted that this reunion, coming together, whatever this Three of Cups is here, this could even be a third party. Um, 
it's caused doubts, fears that something might not happen for you and this person. Um, I think if this, you already know, if someone would just address this imprisonment, you would have your wish. You would be very happy. You would have your victory. I think a lot of you are manifesting this. I sense like a very strong desire to work on things with this person, to talk things out, clear the air, Queen of Swords, to address this head on. It's almost like you just want them to come forward and talk to you or come forward and cut out whatever they need to cut out so that you can have this world. And it's, I'm sensing almost like a frustration because your desire is not being met. And it's almost like this barrier, you just wish you could just knock it over, you know? Obviously it's not that simple or we wouldn't be here, but. <laughs> Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Fool. So this together, I sense someone literally breaking free, cutting off a chain, breaking, cutting through a barrier. Um, together that you can interpret these as someone literally cutting their way out and being free. But it could also be interpreted as someone having a conversation or a truth um, that they express that leads to a breakthrough, a new beginning. So let's see, tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Fool. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Fool. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the Ace of Swords? Ace of Wands. Six of Swords, Three of Wands. Can I get one more? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So with Temperance and the Three of Wands, I still get that energy of, you know, a long time coming. It's been developing for some time. You've been patient or this person has been waiting for something. Six of Swords, make no mistake, this is someone that needs to leave something behind in order to have this Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. This fool cannot happen unless this person leaves something in the past. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's the Page of Cups. I feel like this person they probably been worried about their stability, their security, finances with the five of pentacles. But you can't you can't take without giving. It's an exchange. Six of pentacles, five of pentacles. Here's a page of cups and the ace of pentacles. Exactly. You 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 can have this, but it's gonna cost you. And again with temperance, I'm getting that energy of like giving and taking. You know, exchanging one for the other. Tell me about temperance. Justice. Wow. Libra energy. Yeah. You can have your justice. But there's a scale. Another scale. One, two, two scales. You know, it's, it's, it's an even exchange here. Something, someone has to give something up. This, this cycle needs to close in order to have a new beginning here with the world. Can I get one more for the world? Can I get one more, please? For the world. Queen of Pentacles, and there's the Knight of Swords. Let me get one more. Get one more, please. Wow, the tower. Yeah, definitely. Seven of swords at the bottom of the deck and then the ace of swords. It's going to take a tower. A tower is needed. And this is a message that a lot of signs are getting. It's it's a continu It doesn't matter what sign I'm doing, what day I'm filming, what deck I'm using, <laughs> how much I cleanse my decks. You know, it, it doesn't matter. The message still comes out. Um, spirit is going to demand payment. <laughs> um, in, in the sense of like, I feel like we're being, 
beaten like a, you know like beating a dead horse like we're it's just being beaten over our heads that we cannot continue the way that we are we cannot keep doing the same things we've been doing in the past we need to learn from these cycles or we're just going to keep repeating them and it's like all of us are learning that lesson the hard way we're all learning that lesson the hard way you know and it's happening in all aspects of our life but you know this is a love reading it's here so um, I feel like this is someone that um, they already know what they want with the Ace of Swords and the Fool. They already know what they have to do as well with the Ace of Swords. This is someone in the King of Swords is here as well. This is someone that already knows what they need to do. They are already aware. The good thing is that they're not giving up. They're wanting to, I feel, be this Knight of Wands. And that's what's necessary. The Strength card, the Knight of Wands, the Chariot. I even think this person is going to blow up their life in a way but this is how they break free thank you so much for watching like the video if you enjoyed the reading subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in another video very soon take care